the military may soon use unmanned solar-powered aircraft in place of expensive spy satellites and supersonic surveillance aircraft in order to make these aircraft slower and lighter. When businesses already have plans to cover the sky with their own satellite systems, how can the government employ these spy aircraft? Particularly SpaceX has lately put a number of satellites into orbit, and it has plans to put hundreds more into orbit in the future. There are certain technological gaps in military spy planes, according to the organization that coordinates and supervises military operations and activities with allies and partners to improve regional security. The U.S. Central Command has acknowledged that there are limitations in its ability to monitor other countries. According to a recent press release, the agency's approach to airborne intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance has to be reviewed and reinvented because of regional threats, rapid technology change, and resource competition in the agency's area of responsibility. It used to be that foes couldn't harm satellites, but it's currently thought that the US, China, and Russia all have weapons that can destroy them. The main reason countries are exploring for alternatives is because of this. These anti-satellite weapons have been tested, but it's unlikely that they've been used in battle. One of the ideas discussed is a slower flying, less expensive solar plane that could function as a geostationary satellite for weeks or months at a time and cost a fraction of the price of the majority of military commissioned aircraft. Experts have noted that versatility is one justification for emphasizing solar-powered aircraft. Pseudo-satellites like these drones give you more operational flexibility than a satellite to react to circumstances. Some experts also point out that, despite the fact that solar planes may not be as exciting to watch as supersonic spy planes, their leisurely flight makes them perfect for monitoring. In addition, solar-powered planes are better suited to the job than drones with traditional engines that frequently need to return to a base for refueling.